Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today we'll be discussing how Hermione Granger and other Muggle-born witches and wizards were able to convert their Muggle money into the magical currency accepted in the wizarding world. To start off with, let's take a look at the types of money we're dealing with here. The Granger family, as well as all other witches and wizards born into non-magical families, would have only had access to the Muggle currency used within their native country. Since Hermione Granger was born in England, to two successful dentists I might add, the money her parents would have earned would have been the British Pound Sterling. The Pound is, of course, the basic monetary unit of the United Kingdom and can be divided decimally into 100 new pence. However, in the wizarding world a completely different type of money is used as currency and comes in the following three denominations, bronze canuts, silver sickles, and golden galleons. The most valuable of the three is, as you may have guessed, the golden galleon, with 17 sickles making up one galleon and 29 canuts equaling one sickle. If you're wondering what the conversion rate is between muggle money and wizarding money, you're not alone. There are entire websites dedicated to this exact thing. I've taken a deep dive into some of these and last I checked, one galleon was the equivalent of five pounds. In any case, when it comes to how muggle-born witches and wizards exchange their pounds for the magical currency used with Diagon Alley and beyond, the answer is surprisingly simple. They take their money to Gringotts Wizarding Bank, speak with a goblin, and ask for their pounds to be converted into galleons, sickles, and canards. We actually get a glimpse of the Granger family on their way to do this very errand near the beginning of the Chamber of Secrets. But you're muggles, said Mr. Weasley delightedly. We must have a drink. What's that you've got there? Oh, you're changing muggle money. Molly, look. He pointed excitedly at the ten pound notes in Mr. Granger's hand. So that all makes sense to me. What I'm more curious about, however, is what happens to the muggle money after it's exchanged at Gringotts. Clearly the wizarding world has no use for it, as it holds little value within wizarding communities like Diagon Alley and Hogsmeade Village, and it seems rather unlikely that muggles would go to Gringotts to convert galleons back into pounds, although I suppose that's possible. What I believe to be rather more probable is the idea that goblins were given the task of disposing of the money. Since muggle money does have value outside of the wizarding community, it seems doubtful to me that goblins would simply throw it away, especially due to goblin kind's keen interest in money and finances. That said, an explanation I do find rather amusing is the idea that perhaps goblins laundered pounds back out into muggle communities by way of fronts, run by squibs. Since squibs have no magical abilities of their own, this type of position would allow them to continue to be a contributing member of the wizarding world while also being completely integrated into muggle society. What do you think? Do you have any ideas on where muggle money goes after it's exchanged at Gringotts? Do you agree with what I've shared today? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live.